everyone welcome back to the channel i appreciate you clicking on that video so if you haven't figured it out yet from the intro this weekend i was able to stop over at my local burlington and check out see what they have just do a little cheapy hunt for fun which i love doing so i got two fragrances both i have not seen at a burlington prior to this and neither one have i tried so i'm pretty excited to give them a shot i'll test them on trip then test them on skin let you guys know what i think First impressions, couple cheapies. So this first scent I actually owned uh, for a short time, the original. For me, it was a bit underwhelming. I wasn't crazy about it. I did like the scent though. I ended up swapping it for something else. Uh, like I said, I hadn't seen it at Burlington before. The scent I'm talking about, Mont Blanc Emblem Intense. So this one is the 60 mil that I got for $36.99. So uh, I've heard good things about this one. I've seen a couple other people talk about it before. So yeah, let's get it opened up and give it a shot. So the presentation is pretty nice. You got this kind of cool silver looking bottle and it's pretty heavy, decent cap. Okay, so immediately I'm sort of picking up a fruitiness, some spiciness. It's fruity, spicy, aromatic up top. This scent actually has a rose note and I, I'm, I'm picking up on it actually. Rose, it's different in a lot of fragrances. This one, it's sort of a sweet smelling rose. I'm getting some of the apple in here. It's a clean, aromatic, fruity, and a bit spicy. There is cardamom in this, so that's probably where I'm, the spiciness I'm getting from it. Some clary sage, grapefruit, coriander. And in the base, you have tonka, suede, and some woods. It's a nice scent. Let's give it a shot on skin. So on skin, I'm getting way more alcohol than I did on the strip. Not sure why. Let's give it a second to chill. Yeah, so on skin, I'm getting a lot of the same. It's a bit less fruity on my skin and a little more warm and spicy, but that fruitiness is still there from the apple and the grapefruit. So I think for seasons for Mont Blanc Emblem Intense, this would actually work, I think, in the warmer months as well. Uh, it might help it sort of project a little better because this is not super heavy. It's aromatic. It's spicy, but aromatic, and it has a freshness to it. I think it would work great in the warmer days. Like I said, there's a lot of sweetness when you first spray this. As it dries down, a lot of that sweetness sort of settles in. It's not overly sweet. Overall, a pleasant scent. I'm trying to remember back to the original, and I, I can't say if this is just an amped up version of that. I don't, to me, this is better. I, I can tell you this is something that I would find myself wearing more often, I think, than the original. But like I said, on my skin, I'm getting way less fruitiness and way less sweetness, believe it or not. More spicy, a bit more warm, and it's still aromatic. This is a nice fragrance. Nothing mind-blowing, nothing super unique, but pretty enjoyable. I like it. I'm curious to see what type of longevity I get. Obviously, with Mont Blanc fragrances, they're not traditionally known for their longevity, so I'm not expecting a lot out of this, but it smells like it could possibly last a bit longer than some of the other Mont Blancs I own. Mont Blanc Emblem Intense. So I'm really excited to try this next one. When I saw the box, I was like, what is that? Pretty cool. Uh, this is a classic fragrance that I wore when I was in junior high. And this was part of my collection in junior high, as most guys my age. And I haven't worn it, I don't think, since. I know the smell of it. Obviously, being into fragrances, I've smelled it, but I don't actually own a bottle. And now I do. But uh, the thing is, is I'm not sure if this is a flanker of that original fragrance that I wore or if this is its own thing. Well, let's give it a shot scent i'm talking about davidoff's cool water street fighter edition so when i saw street fighter edition i was like wow that is a game that for anybody who was a fan of nintendo and a fan of street fighter game uh, this was a huge part of your life it had to have been I used to wake up every Saturday morning, grab two, three bowls of cereal, just crush about three hours, four hours worth of Street Fighter. Amazing game, love that game. So the bottle, uh, it this now I'm starting to think it, there was a there was a flanker that was released. You can see sort of the Street Fighter emblem, but there was a flanker that was released a couple years back uh, that was uh, part of the Aquaman movie that came out. And I'm thinking this is just a rebranded version of that, which I know that fragrance, I didn't smell it, but I know it doesn't smell like the original Cool Water. So my guess is that that's what I'm gonna find here when I try this, but uh, let's give it a shot. Okay, so right off the bat, I get a ton of citrus, like an orange citrus, really smells nice. Uh, very nice orange, got some woods. Okay, so this smells nothing like the original Cool Water, so I was right about that. This actually has a bit of a soapiness to it as well. 
It's actually reminding me a lot of, there's some neroli in here. It reminds me a lot of John Barbados's Artisan Pure. Soapy, citrusy, clean, woodsy scent. I imagine this being a really great summer scent. Good dumb reach fragrance for 25 bucks. If you see this out at Burlington, pick it up because you can't go wrong with this. Really clean, really fresh. Has a bit of a creaminess to it, which is probably from the woods. And maybe there's a vetiver in here. I'm liking this one a lot. All right, so let's try this cool water on skin. Yeah. It really reminds me of Artisan Pierre from John Barbados. Really nice orange, grapefruit up top, some woods, a little bit creamy. I get off skin, it's way more soapy, soapy, citrus, neroli, and woods. Very nice. I'm pleasantly surprised by this one. Cool water, Street Fighter edition. For the Street Fighter alone, this is gonna look great in the collection. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys have found at your local rack stores recently, your Burlington's, your TJ Maxx's, your Marshall's. What hidden gems am I missing? Let me know. And I'll keep these videos coming. We have officially broken 100 subscribers. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you saw today. Hit that bell notification so you guys are updated whenever I upload new content. But with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.